Bruce Lee's punches were the stuff of legend, fast, precise, and shockingly powerful for a man who weighed just around 135 pounds. But what made them so effective wasn't just strength or speed. It was a combination of biomechanics, philosophy, and relentless refinement. Bruce didn't just throw punches. He engineered them. Speed that seemed superhuman. Witnesses often described Bruce Lee's punches as too fast for the eye to follow. In fact, during film shoots, directors sometimes asked him to slow down his movements so the camera could capture them. But this wasn't magic, it was mechanics. Bruce trained obsessively to reduce unnecessary motion. He eliminated wasted energy, streamlined his movements, and focused on explosive acceleration from a resting state. His fists didn't travel far, but they arrived with blinding speed. The principle? Economy of motion. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line, and Bruce Lee made every punch travel that line with surgical precision. The one-inch punch. Perhaps his most iconic technique, the one-inch punch, stunned audiences across the world. How could a man generate that much force in such a short distance? Here's how. Kinetic chain activation, Bruce didn't punch with just his arm. He generated force from the ground up, starting with his feet, transferring through his legs, hips, core, shoulder, and finally, into his fist. Timing and structure, his body moved as one perfectly timed unit. Each muscle fired at just the right moment to create a wave of energy that peaked at impact. Fodging principle, borrowed from Chinese martial arts, this method emphasizes sudden explosive power, like a whip cracking at close range. Bruce Lee's one-inch punch wasn't about distance. It was about perfect timing, positioning, and internal connection. Power through relaxation. Most people tense up when they punch, but Bruce Lee understood that tension slows you down. He emphasized staying relaxed until the moment of contact, only tightening his muscles at the point of impact. This allowed faster muscle reaction, reduced telegraphing, making it hard for opponents to predict, maximum energy transfer. He once said, a good punch is like an iron bar wrapped in cotton. Soft on the outside, but devastating when it connects. Mental mechanics. Bruce also believed the mind controlled the punch. In his training, he visualized his punches hitting with intent, clarity, and emotional force. He trained to remove doubt and hesitation. The mind had to be just as sharp as the body. His punches carried intentionality. Not rage. Not panic. Just focused, calm aggression, a mind-body weapon. Constant refinement. Even at the height of his fame, Bruce Lee remained a student of the punch. He filmed himself training, studied boxing, fencing, Wing Chun, and biomechanics. He was always evolving, always asking, can this be improved? To Bruce, every punch was a reflection of his philosophy, simplicity, directness, and personal trust.